someday we'll get paid for this. Hello and welcome to Scrapple News. I'm your newsreader, AP Ticker. Scrapple TV, homegrown news, not the crappy kind, the real good kind of homegrown. Local, national, international, global, galactic, and beyond. According to the Washington Post, Philadelphia Inquirer columnist John Yu will not face legal or criminal sanctions for greenlighting torture during the Bush years. Yu stirred anger among Senate Democrats and civil liberties groups for legal memos that essentially insulated uh, CIA interrogators and contractors from legal consequences for their roles in torturing prisoners. Use legalistic justifications of torture and harsh interrogation. One hell of a sentence. Use legalistic justifications of torture and harsh interrogation techniques prompted a multi year investigation by the department's Office of Professional Responsibility, which reviews the ethics of justice lawyers. A draft report referred to state disciplinary authorities for sanctions, but then Attorney General Michael B. Mukuski blasted the analysis in the draft and sent it back to the ex ethics office for more work. Meanwhile, the five-year statute of limitations on Yu's alleged conduct expired, meaning Yu has run out the clock on any war crimes prosecution. Look for him every Sunday in a Philadelphia Inquirer near you. Is Facebook the new fight club? A fist fight between two gangs of girls that had been organized on Facebook erupted in gunfire last week outside a Southwest Philadelphia high school. Two young men and a 17-year-old girl were wounded. The men were shot in the back and were reported in critical condition. The girl was treated for a bullet wound to the buttock and released. Detectives said about 40 teenage girls gathered outside Bartram High School for a fist fight last Thursday night. Authorities said the conflict pitted a group of girls from southwest Philadelphia with a rival group from west Philadelphia. The fight was triggered by inappropriate comments posted on the social networking website. The next thing you know, somebody's bringing a gun to a Facebook fight. Should have had it on Twitter. Nobody, nobody ever gets shot on Twitter. Ever. In sports, beloved Philadelphia Eagle and sportscaster Tom Brookshire passed away over the weekend. Brookie played on the 1960 championship team and went on to an illustrious career as an NFL broadcaster. Good night, Brookie. You will be missed. In celebrity news, my old drinking buddy, Rip Torn, best known for his work in the Larry Sanders show, Dodgeball, and Men in Black movies, was arrested over the weekend when police, responding to a report of a breaking and entering, found him inside the vault of a Salisbury, Connecticut bank, highly intoxicated and brandishing a loaded revolver in the middle of the night. Time to quit the cutty sark, Pally. I did it. So can you. So long and goodbye. Or is it goodbye and so long? Get the fuck you, yo! Get the fuck you, yo!